Hi guys and welcome back. So from the title of this video you already know that we are going to be reviewing the new Gucci foundation. So this foundation is called the Natural Finish Fluid Foundation. If you know me you will know that I am a huge fan of natural coverage for everyday wear and even sometimes when I'm going to like parties I prefer a more natural finish and then I like to go heavy on my concealer. The foundation retails for £46 which I think is pretty decent considering that it is a high-end foundation. Most foundations these days retail for around 30 to 40 pounds anyways. This has 30 ml like every other foundation out there. So this is the Gucci Natural Finish Foundation packaging. I think it's honestly so stunning, it's so sleek and it's very minimalistic and just simple. You actually get like this little bag with it. Excuse the fact that it's all wet. I think I had like something wet in the box and it's just like soaked up the duffel bag but it's pretty nice and then you also get like a little tote bag as well which is really really cute. I actually got my foundation from the Gucci website. It was free delivery and it literally shipped within a day or two from when I ordered it. So it came really really fast. The service was honestly really really good. I have the shade Fair Medium 250 and the reason why I chose this shade was because um, it has like an olive kind of undertone to it. So this is the bottle that the foundation comes in. It's all glass and the top part is made of plastic. So I expected nothing less to be honest. Every high-end foundation that I've purchased in the past has basically come in glass bottles which I really really like. The only problem with this would be is if you're traveling you would have to obviously wrap it in like bubble wrap etc to make sure that it does not break or it doesn't spill. So it comes with your standard pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by priming my face. So I'm going in with my trusty Cover FX primer. I used this primer in my previous video and if you don't know I'm a huge fan of this primer. I actually wanted to get the Gucci primer, but it was just so overpriced. I felt like I had to try the foundation before I went out and bought the primer. So we'll give this a try in a little second. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color correct as always. And I usually just place the corrector under my eyes. I'm going to place some product down on the back of my hand just to see if the color matches. So I'm gonna pump out maybe like one pump. So this is the colour of the foundation. To be fair it looks like it will actually match my skin tone. So this side will do the brush and then this side will do the sponge. It seems like it matches my neck really really well and it definitely does have an olive undertone and it's got a very florally smell to it. I feel like you could really build on this foundation. It's not too thick and it feels so lightweight on the skin. It's covered up all my kind of scarring and spots around here which is brilliant considering it is a lightweight foundation. So I've just done half of this face using a brush and instantly I'm in love with this foundation. It's got like a natural glow so you're not like completely matte. If you're not a dewy type of person then I would definitely stay away from this foundation because it does have a glow which I really really like. You would just need like the tiniest amount of powder to kind of powder it down just to kind of give your skin that skin like finish but I really 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 like it so far. My skin doesn't look dry, it honestly feels so nice and lightweight. It applied so easily with a brush, I don't really see any dryness on my face. I've still got some like product left over in the back of my hand. I'm going to use my Junoco Beauty Blending Brush. This looks slightly dirty but honestly it's not. So I'm just going to use a little bit of product and start to kind of pat that in. The only thing with a sponge is, is that it just soaks up too much product so I feel like a lot of your product does go to waste. Right now I'm genuinely loving using my brush. This side has less coverage than this. This looks a lot more fuller whereas this looks a lot lighter in coverage. I'm just going to place some under my eye area. Your skin still looks really, really, really nice with the Beauty Blender. With the brush and sponge, you're getting very, very similar coverage. I would definitely say that the 
the brush side gives you a lot more coverage for some reason but I've just done like a second pump and I would definitely say that this foundation is definitely buildable. I'm really really happy with the finish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some concealer and then I will come back and we will powder this down and see how the powder is on top of this foundation. So I will catch you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I've just placed down some concealer. I just used the Oma Beauty Concealer and that's in the shade Honey Honey T2. Yeah, Honey Honey T2. And then I used the Sharp, the Sharp? The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand. So I usually place the Oma Beauty one first and then the Tarte Shape Tape on top because this one's a lot lighter. This one I just used to kind of colour correct. Um, so yeah, I've just done that. And then I've just used a cream contour. The contour I used was some Morphe Concealer in the shade C4.35. This is really nice because it just gives you that added coverage. Okay, so for powder, I'm just using the RCMA No Colour Powder. So I'm just going to use my sponge to just place some under my eyes just to bake. I place some on the sides of my nose, the tip of my nose and then just around my forehead and I'd like to just press the powder down and instantly I can see my skin looks so flawless. There's like no dryness on my forehead area and that is the area that I tend to get really dry on. So around my forehead, around the sides here especially in the winter. So I'm just going to place some down around my cheeks and then I'm going to use the same powder to just kind of carve out my contour. I'm going to dust off the powder around the areas that I place the powder down on and then what I like to do is I just like to take the excess powder and just blend it in to my skin. So I'm not really looking at the mirror just now. I just want to be shocked by how the powder reacts to the foundation. So I'm just going to bring the mirror close up and oh my god my skin looks so nice. There's not an inch of dryness around my nose. I'm going to zoom you guys in in a couple of seconds but I really really like the finish to this foundation and the fact that the powder looks so nice on top of it it's just a plus. This foundation definitely lived up to its expectations. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom you guys a little bit closer so you can see what the foundation looks like close up. Okay, so this is the foundation close up. As you can see, it looks so flawless. Okay, so I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and see what the foundation looks like with the rest of my makeup on. And then at the end, I can just give you my final verdict and let you know what I think of this foundation. So if you want to hear my final thoughts on this foundation, make sure to stick around and I will catch you guys in a second. Okay guys, so that's me back and I've completed the rest of my makeup. So how did the makeup sit on top of this foundation? I am, honestly, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I have no words. I think this has definitely become my favourite foundation. I think this is like my go-to now. Because it has like a natural finish, I can wear it almost every day. And on top of that, I can like build on the coverage. So if I wanted to wear it out to like a wedding or an event, it would be so easy to build on the coverage and you get the best of both worlds. When I put my makeup on top of the foundation, everything just glided on so beautifully. When I powdered everything down, everything kind of just mattified. Now I still can see slight shine on certain areas of my face, but I personally like that. I don't like my foundation to look too, too matte because then I feel like everything just looks really cakey and plastic on my face. Whereas I I personally like having like a dewy finish so that even if I have to kind of go in and use a little bit of powder to kind of get rid of the oil, I'd rather do that than have a complete like matte face if you get what I mean. I feel like it's like got a very similar consistency to the Huda Beauty foundation so if you've tried the full filter foundation I feel like this foundation gives you like that full filter effect as well and although it's like covered up my 
like spots and kind of areas that I have scars, I feel like it still looks really natural. So some of my scars and kind of spots are still kind of showing through, but I like that, that my skin looks like skin. The foundation left like a powdery finish, which is very similar to the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. The only thing is, is that the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation is a lot thicker and is more matte, whereas this Gucci one has a slight luminous glow, but has the same kind of texture and same consistency. So if you're looking for something a little bit more natural, but has the effect that the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation gives you, then I would definitely try this out. This foundation is so beautiful. I cannot recommend it enough. It has done wonders to my skin. Recently my skin has been like playing up and I feel like this foundation has really just evened everything out on my face and like I said everything sat so beautifully on top of the foundation so even my contour just blended out so easily without rubbing off the foundation underneath. The foundation like dried up very very quickly as well so you don't have to like wait around for the foundation to dry. It's got like a very luminous natural glow so if you are looking for a very high-end foundation that has like a luminous natural glow I would honestly hand on heart recommend this. Um, I can't obviously tell throughout the day how the foundation will react and if it will get really really oily but I will make sure to update you guys on my Instagram or maybe in my next video I might just put like a small clip to let you guys know how I'm getting on with this foundation but right now I've had the foundation on for, let me just look at the time, I've had the foundation on for around an hour I would say and it still looks exactly the same. The foundation hasn't oxidised either. One thing I hate with a lot of foundation uh, foundations is, is that after a little while, even if you give it like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, it will just begin to oxidise and look so much darker on your skin than it initially did. Um, so make sure you do your research before buying any foundation. That is my top tip to you guys. Make sure you research and find out if the foundation actually does oxidise on your skin. If it does, it will gradually get really, really dark throughout the day. And honestly, it just does not look nice. So as I'm touching like my face, the foundation isn't transferring onto my hands. Now this is a big plus for me because sometimes when I'm changing my clothes and I have makeup on, I feel like it kind of all rubs off and I won't have that problem with this foundation. So sometimes it is better to kind of splurge out on a good high quality foundation so that it gives you all the benefits. Okay, so would I recommend this foundation? I would highly recommend this foundation to all my followers out there make sure you give it a try and comment down below if you do try this foundation and let me know how you get on okay guys so it's come to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this mini review on the gucci natural finish foundation if you did please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below share this video and most importantly subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you in my next one bye